Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today we are going to speak about the Quran and the science. And in the same time, you know, Muslims are welcome to call us even to change the topic. If they can, prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet. Uh, my Skype is already open, so in case there is any Muslim would like to join us. You know, if we search in uh, YouTube, we will find millions of videos made by Mohammedans speaking about the amazing scientific miracles of the Quran. And the weird is that what the Muslims, the Mohammedans, they do, they change the mean of their book to make it fit with science. And this is telling us a lot that Islam is not a religion. Islam is a satanic, demonic, fabricated cult. Because only demon and followers of Satan, they are willing to bend their scriptures, if we can call it scriptures, and their text to make it fit with someone else. Text. Uh, somebody saying, hey Christian Prince, I would like to debate you why Islam is more truthful way than Christianity. With no problem, call me my friend. You will be more than welcome. And uh, let us see if how many seconds you will survive after you call me. Uh, we have here a gentleman. He is offering us a topic. I would like to debate you why Islam is more truthful. Look how powerful the challenge is. <clears throat> Why? You know, I don't know if you notice, we are here uh, exposing the lies of the Quran, and you are saying to me, uh, no, I get the wrong one, sorry, the wrong text. Where is the guy? <clears throat> Ali Siyan. Ali Siyan. Mr. Ali Sayan, he is offering us a debate. That's wonderful. Well, Ali, I will be happy to see you calling me. I will be waiting for you. The admin, they will give you my Skype. <clears throat> Please don't hesitate to call me immediately. I cannot tell you how much I am waiting to see uh, how powerful your speech will be and the proofs and the reference you will give us. Um, I find it very embarrassing that even you think for a second that Islam is what? More is more the truthful way. Very funny to say even mo the word more because if you say more that's mean Christianity is a truthful way. When you say more, it's like saying my my glue is more sticky. <laughs> I don't know. You know, Muslims sometimes they try to prove us wrong, but they prove themselves wrong by doing that. But anyway, I will be happy uh, to get you calling me and uh, let us see if you mean what you say. Here we go. We accepted your offer and. Uh, let us see how more it is. <clears throat> uh, so going back to the topic, enter this gentleman, he get the courage to call me. Otherwise, his statement is useless. Uh, when a Muslim, he speak about truthful. You know, we are making this uh, broadcast today to show everybody that you Muslims have zero truth in your side and you are not even truthful. So how you can teach me about the truth when your prophet taught you, you can lie to non-Muslims. You can lie to your wife, lie, wife can lie to her husband, and you can lie to your friends. So who's left? So how somebody, he follow a liar guru. You know, your prophet Muhammad is the lying guru. Have you ever heard of a guru teaching his followers to lie? 
He's not saying to them, you know, uh, you know, sometime Allah forgive you. No, no, no. He's saying you can lie in three ways, in three occasions. So you are a follower of the Mr. Lying Guru, the professional liar who is funny and we are laughing at him. And you are telling me you want to debate me about Islam is more truthful. I don't know how that will work for you, but I will be happy to hear it. <coughs> uh, Someone in Arabic he says Al Harbu Khuda B M B. No, this is not about war and you know Harbu Khuda. It's okay to say Al Harbu Khuda. Uh, war is deception, but this is not about war. You know, uh, you lie to your wife. Uh, are you in war with your wife? Is she going to kill you? The wife lied to her husband. If you cannot be honest even with you inside your house, you will be honest with who? This is have nothing to do with war. Lying to your friends. Are you in war with your friends? When somebody promote lying, he cannot be considered to be a prophet. The Bible is so clear, it says, who is the father of all lies? The answer is the devil. Very simple. Anyway, we will see if we will get the text. Let me see, I think we have a text. Oh... <coughs> uh... Okay, I don't know. There is somebody texting me. I don't know. I have no idea who is this guy. Let us see. We hope it's not Fakira. We will see. How truthful, really, what they claim. You know, I believe they have zero truth in what they say. Hello? Fakira, yeah. The girl Fakira, she is calling me. She is excited and she is horny. Do we have any real Muslim would like to call us? You see, actually this guy, this guy from Senegal is an example of how Muslims are ashamed of their religion. They wash their hands, even from what the Quran is saying, and they come with different meaning. They wash their hands from what their prophet is saying. But the second we say to them, where Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? Who is his father? They say, Abdullah. We say, who is his wife? They say, Aisha, Khadija, Safiya. We say, where you got this information from? He say, from the books of uh, books of, uh, of history. <laughs> but all of us, we knew that books of history never spoke about Muhammad wife or Muhammad father. The only one knows this information is the Muslim books. And they are even few, you know, from the early history of Islam. So when Muslims, you know, turn to be fake Muslims, washing their hands from the Quran, when a Muslim, he called his prophet the F word. I mean, how pleasant it is to be a Muslim then. We are waiting for any Muslim to call us for the free. Otherwise, your challenge is a fake challenge. Uh, all right. All right, we have a sheikh from Kuwait, but I don't know when he will be online. Well, <clears throat> Let's see. We have a sheikh from Kuwait. Uh, there's a channel from Indonesian channel, debating Muslims, which I look like they are doing a good job. Uh, and they offer him to debate me, and he looked like he want to do it. So we'll see. Do we have any Muslim would like to speak to us about the wonderful, amazing miracles in the Quran? Who is a Muhammadan from all those call themselves followers of Muhammad is willing to call us and show us the miracles of the Quran? Choose anyone. One by one, they turn to be false. You see, I found a video for uh, Lulu Dawa. And Lulu Dawa, 
he claimed that he's a prophet, he found a lot of things. And I find it very funny that Lulu Dawa, he called Muslim dogs. He said that the prophet, he prophesied that Aisha, she will be surrounded by dogs. If you don't believe me that he said that, this is the name of the video. Four miracles left the Christians speechless. And what is the miracle? The prophet, he prophesied that Aisha, she will be bad. And she will be surrounded by dogs. But all of us, we knew that the one she was surrounded by is her brothers and her father and Omar. Those are the dogs. Who is the one who supported Aisha? Can you believe it? This is a subtitle. I'm not playing the video, but you can watch the video yourself. Can you believe it that there is a human being in order to claim that his prophet, he prophesied something. He claimed that his prophet wife was surrounded by dogs. Dogs. Not cats. Any Muslim can explain to us? Hmm? Is that really a prophecy of a prophet Muhammad? That the Muslims who they are around, the Aisha, the Sunni, the Muslim Sunni, they are dogs? And Aisha, <clears throat> she was fighting Ali. And Muhammad told Ali, when she do that, forgive her. Who is the dogs who are chasing Aisha, Ali Dawa? Who is a Muslim with willing voluntarily to tell us? Remember, he claimed and he said she would be doing wrong. And Muhammad, he asked Ali to forgive her. And she was chased by dogs, which means those are the Muslims who they are around her. You know, there's nobody there except the Muslims. There's nobody. There's no non-believers there no more. There's no Christian, no Jews, no nobody, just Muslims. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> any Muhammadan? Is that really a prophecy of Muhammad? Anyone would like to support that? The claim of a Ludawa? How truthful is what the Muhammadan they say about their prophet and his wife? Anyone? Hmm. Look at them. They are very much heroes. And you know, I mean, the video is very funny. Lord uh, Allah, he claimed that the Quran predict the name of the king of. Uh, he claimed in the video, he says like, the Quran correct the Bible. Uh, why? Because the Quran call the Pharaoh Pharaoh. How the Quran knew the word Pharaoh? And the Bible is mistaken because the Bible says in the time of the James, uh, call the king at that time Pharaoh. And he says they found in history that this is not true. There was no Pharaoh at that time. 
In fact, the Quran is made by a stupid idiot. His name is Muhammad. Muhammad, he don't call the Pharaoh Pharaoh. Muhammad, he think his name is Pharaoh. If you type the word Al, I will do it in the front of you in the screen, even though you don't speak Arabic. Al, it's just two letters, A and L. You will see tons of verses in the Quran mentioning the word Al. Chapter 2, verse number 49, Alu Fir'aun. See it? Ali Fir'aun. Chapter 248, Ali Musa. Uh oh. Ali Musa. We're trying to find what Ali Al mean. Ali Fir'aun. Again, chapter 3, verse 11. Ali Ibrahim. Chapter 4, verse number 54. Ali Fir'aun. Verse number 7. Chapter 7, verse number 130. Etc. Ali Lut, chapter 15, verse number 59. Ali Lut, chapter uh, 15, 61. Ali Yaqub, chapter 19, verse number 6. And etc. I mean, it's all over the Quran. Let us see what Al mean. You know what Al mean. Let us go to 19, 6. Ali Yaqub. And this is the Muslim translation. You will notice that the word Al is presented only before an individual name. Jacob. And this is the word Al. They translate it as a prosperity, the family. So the stupid Muhammad, he think that the Pharaoh is a name of a person. This is why he don't kill him, call him, you know, uh, 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 like he don't add just a name. He says, Al, Ali Ibrahim, the family of Abraham, Ali Yaqub, the family of Jacob, uh, uh, Ali Lut, the family of Lut, uh, Al Musa, Al, etc. So the word Al, which is not, by the way, not Arabic, is added before the name of an individual. It is not going to be added except before a name of an individual not a title you don't say alul malik which means the family of the king it doesn't work it have to be a name of a singular individual singular name and this is how easy we get them busted with their lies claiming that muhammad he discover a discovery in fact, the Sidi Muhammad, he think that Haman is the one who built the Babylon Tower, but in Egypt. According to Muhammad, Haman was a minister in different country, in different state, in different time. Chapter 28, verse number 38. Chapter 40, verse number 36. Both of them speak about something very funny. According to the city Muhammad, Haman, he built the Babylon Tower just to get Musa's busted. And where he built it, he built it in Egypt. But Haman is not even an Egyptian. And that tower never built in Egypt. So the Pharaoh, he said to Haman, build the tower so we can see if Musa can reach to his God. This is the history of Muhammad. Do we have any Muhammadan here? <clears throat> Who 
is a Muhammadan would like to, <coughs> to join us. <laughs> Don't text me if you are a Christian, please. When I say Christian can text me, you can text me. If I say only Muslims, Muslims only. Do we have any Muslim would like to show us the scientific miracle of the Quran? I mean, your prophet is wrong in history. As an example, how Muhammad knew that in the time of Moses, there was Samuri? Samuri? In which history is that? Moses, he go for vacation. He come back, he found his people being misleaded by a Samuri. Hey Muslims, who is a Samuri? And when those people, they exist. Which year those people are exist? <laughs> huh? Any Muhammadan can help us? We can change translation for you as you wish. Those people who exist in the time of Moses? Who is a Muslim here? He agreed that those people exist in the time of Moses. Anyone? Yeah, the this, uh, this Samuri, which means the Samaritans. Any Mohammedan? That is a pure uh, science, now history. Somebody saying, Brother Michael saying to me, you know, I like it when Christians, they school me about how to be respectful. Welcome, Michael. I have nothing against what you said, my friend, but obviously you have no idea what we are dealing with. We are dealing with religion, believe that you are a dog. You are filthy, and your wife and your children are lawful for them to rape. They call us animals, they call us pigs, they call us monkeys, and you are asking me to respect. I respect nobody like that. You like it, you can stay, you don't like it, you can leave. In fact, the Quran teach the Muhammadan that if the Christian respect you, that because they are defeated and because Allah he pitch humiliation on them. So when you respect them, they don't respect, no, appreciate that. They take it as, you know what? Allah was right. Look, we insult them. And they take it. You want to respect them? Go. I respect nobody. He is a child molester, a thief, a killer. And he is an antichrist. Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, always I receive those messages from Christians. You know, Christians, they are living in different galaxy. They have no idea what's going on in this earth. You know, you know, they think Christianity is giving hugs. You know, let me give you a hug. Well, Jesus was calling people the son of the serpent, the hypocrite, the liars. You, if you are the same as your father Abraham, you do the work of Abraham. But your father was who is the devil. This is what Jesus said. They have no idea what Jesus said. They go to church and they tell them that Jesus, he was hugging everybody. Because he never learned the Bible. I mean, Jesus even, he called Peter, stay away from me, Satan. Even, this is Peter. <laughs> they have no idea. You know, they go, they go to churches, and churches, they teach them that uh, Jesus taught us uh, to love everybody. Uh, yeah, well, this is, okay, we got, we got that, we got that. Is that really what only Jesus taught? This is the only thing Jesus spoke of? He did not flip tables. He did not destroy their tables. He did not call them liars. He did not call them hypocrite. He did not call them satanic, evil doers. 
serpents they will quote only things they learned yeah do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us let us see who is that hello Wa alaykum as salam, my friend. You are welcome. Who is with me? Ma'ak Shabah. Shabah? Yes. You are a ghost? Yes. And we are going to uh, talk about Jesus. Oh, okay. But as long as you are a ghost, what ghost mean? Ghost. I want to talk about Jesus. You know, no problem. Your name is Ghost, and you don't want to talk about Ghost. I'm asking you. You said I said who was talking to me. You said Shabah, which means Ghost. So what Ghost mean is now? Tell me. Shabah, Ghost. Yeah, what Ghost mean? Anyways, let's talk about Jesus. What What do you mean? Anyways, you see, you're talking to Christian prince. Anything you say is going to be used against you in the court of law. So I'm uh, asking you. I'm asking you. What Ghost mean? A ghost i'm yeah. not i'm not talking about ghost i want to talk about jesus i don't care what you want to talk about you are you I'm are the one you days. are the one who we are talking about Jesus. no problem tell me what the holy okay, ghost so means tell me what the holy ghost mean the holy ghost uh -huh. but we are not talking about the holy ghost i, I want to you talk are about the jesus. one i ask you who are you you said you are a ghost so i'm trying to understand who is the one is talking to me as a ghost what ghost mean oh so are are you calling me the Holy Ghost? I am not. You are the one calling yourself a ghost. But a ghost can be anything. No, it cannot. Give me a yes. definition. Are you saying to me that your God is a liar? I really want to talk about Jesus. Are you, are you a spirit? Are you a spirit? Of, of course not. What the hell? So you are saying to me, okay, so I'm asking you, I'm asking you what ghost is. As long if, of course not. Can we really talk? As long if course not. So Let's what ghost means? Why you are trying? You know, is it embarrassing to talk about what your prophet says about the ghost? Yeah, CP. Yeah, Let's talk about yeah, Jesus. yeah, ghost. Shabbat, Listen, Shabbat. Just call me why, why you don't want to talk about Mr. Ghost? Why your prophet, you do not even know what ghost is? Because, do you know what ghost is? Because CP, CP, because uh -huh. you mentioned Sayyidina Isa and you said you wanted to talk about him. So let's talk about No him. problem. We are talking about That's him. Why I'm we here. are talking I'm about, we are talking Jesus. about, we are talking about him when we speak about the Holy Ghost. The only time the Quran mentioned the Holy Ghost when we speak about Isa, isn't it your prophet? He says that Isa is the one supported by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Okay. So we are talking about Isa. Why Isa supported by the Holy Ghost? Muhammad is not. What do you mean? What do you mean? The question is so simple. The Quran in front, the Quran in front of you, Quran in front of you, chapter two, verse number eighty-seven says. Because the Holy Ghost is saying the Jibril, but. Okay, hold let's, on. Let's so, talk about Sayyidina Isa. Oh, no let's problem. We are talking about Isa. We are talking about Isa. No problem. So you are saying to me now, the Holy Ghost is Jibril. Yes, but can you show me? Right can now. you show me one verse in the Quran is saying the Holy Ghost is Jibril? I can show you an interpretation. Why the Quran is not saying that? Huh? Huh? Why the Quran is not saying that? Because, because, hmm. my friend, speak in English so people can understand. Speak in English so people can understand, so people can laugh. Can you speak, please, in English so people can laugh? Okay, but are you going to speak in English? Or are you going to hang up on you? You are ashamed of the answer. Answer, answer. Why the Quran never say the Holy Ghost is Jibreel? Okay, I'm asking you. No, the Jibreel does not. Jibreel does not have names. This way, you just, you just, you just called you just called him Jibreel. You just called him Jibreel. So what do you mean Jibreel have names? His name is Jibreel. But also he has names like Ruh al Qudus. Okay, hold on. Show me where in the Quran it says that Jibreel and the Ruh al Qudus is the same person. I ask you, you said nowhere in the Quran it says that this is interpretation. So you must tell me you follow because interpretation. The fact that Isa so was now, so by now him. you are saying to me you follow because interpretation. Of the fact that Isa was you, follow, aided by him. you follow interpretation. But he but, was aided by him, right? Okay, hold on. This is what your Quran is saying. By him. No problem. He was was, was him, Muhammad right? aided by the Holy Spirit? Yes, he show, was me the, by show me the verse. Huh? Show me the verse, huh? Show me the verse. Do you want an interpretation that says, My friend, 
Yeah. You agreed. You agreed that Isa was supported by the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. Yeah, Ruh al-Qudus. Okay. Yeah. Was Muhammad supported by the Holy Spirit? You said yes. I said, show yes, me the verse. Show me the, show me the verse. Do you want an interpretation? Show me the verse. Do you want an interpretation? Show me the verse and we can read the interpretation. No problem. Do you want an interpretation? So you are saying to me clearly that not a single proof in the Quran saying that Jibril is the Holy Spirit. Well, it doesn't need to because we already know that Ruh al-Qudus is All right. Is Jibreel already knows what? Naam. Already knows what? You said we already we do not need. You said you do not need because already know. No, Ruh al-Qudus is saying is saying the Jibreel. How you know? Because it's in the uh, interpretations. Ah. Well, if I show you now interpretation, do you accept it? By whom? Ah. So they bend whom? Okay. Who is the one? Who, which interpretation you like? Uh, show me anybody. Let me see who. No, I don't Let know. I don't know any scar has name anybody. Then be the no, name of a scar you like. Show me, show me. Let me see. I want to see. No, what do you want me to show you? Nah. I will show you interpretation, and now you will cry. You will say I don't accept it. Okay, but the whole point of this conversation, yes, CP, is to show that okay. Sayyidina Isa is not God. No problem. He will go. He's a okay, you see, if, if, he, if he is not, if he is not God, if he, he is, was aided by Ruh al -Qudus. hold on, hold on. No, this is your Quran saying that. But if Jesus was God, does okay, he need aid? Okay, okay, if hold Jesus on. Was God, does no, he need no aid? problem. Wonderful guys. Okay, if if Jesus, Jesus is God, if, okay, you made a point. Hold, hold on, God, hold on, my friend, aid? my friend, my friend. You just made a point. I want you to stick with it. Are you but sure? If, are you sure? Jesus, are you sure? God, does he are need you aid? sure that if does Jesus, Jesus need to be led, are, hold on one by one? Are you, are you sure? Because in the Bible, you there's sure? a verse that you are says afraid. that Jesus you are, you, was led by a spirit. You are, you are afraid. You are afraid. He was led by you are, a spirit. You are afraid. Be tempted are afraid. by Satan. So look what you said. If Jesus is God, he do not need aid. Do you stick with this comment? Yes. All right. Did your prophet Muhammad, he needed the aid of Allah. And Allah, he brought with him a bunch of fighters to join Muhammad to defend him. Yes, that's aid. So if Allah is God, why he need Jibreel to support him? Support who? Support Me? Allah. No, how? Okay, here we go. This is the Quran, chapter 66, verse number 4. Chapter 66? Verse number 4. And remember, you are the one who said, if Jesus is God, he do not need supporters. Quran 66, 4? Mm-hmm. Where is it? Let's see. Let's let's read it. Go ahead. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't die on me. Read. Yes, I'm reading. Mm. Okay, so can you can you explain where does it say that Allah needs help here in this? Exactly. Verse? It says in the front of you, what do you mean explain? It says that Muhammad he have a fight with two wives, and those wives they need a fighter to support Muhammad. So who is the one who protect Muhammad? Starting with Allah. If Allah is enough, then why he is asking Jibreel to join? If Allah and Jibreel is enough, then why he's asking every righteous believer to join? Uh, if, because oh, Allah hold on, is hold on, you ask me. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. Because Allah is commanding Jibreel to protect the Prophet. What do you no, mean? No, 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 no. Hold on. Yes. He says, yes. It's, no, hold on. Yes. It says, no, it says, yes. truly yes. Allah. Hold on. No, no, truly Allah. No, truly no, Allah. No, CP, that's truly wrong. Allah CP. is his protector. No, CP, Stop here. CP. Stop. Truly CP, Allah. No. Tro CP. Truly Allah is his CP. protector. Who is the protector? CP, why are you twisting what the verse means? My friend, read the verse. CP. Okay, read it. Why are you twisting what the verse means? Read the verse. I am reading the verse. Okay, who is the and first? Who playing. is the first protector? Huh? Who is the first protector? Of course, Allah. Okay, and read and. Okay, and Jibreel. It, it doesn't and say Jibreel. Allah. He okay. will send Jibreel to protect him. No, it says Allah, his protector, but and the Jibreel, whole point of this and verse, every yes, righteousness, is Allah and is every first. believer, Allah and furthermore. And okay, furthermore, the angels. First, then of course, so, he is ordering Jibril to protect no, the prophet. Okay, where, where is the okay? If he, if he ordered Jibril, that's it. 
He did not say that. Did he say? Did he say? Did he say? I ordered the way to protect you. You're still wrong. Don't laugh, my friend. You're still wrong. Okay. What if? What if we read the interpretation? Sir, you are still wrong. You are the one who mentioned interpretation. Can we read interpretation? Of course. Yeah, let's read it. Okay. Can you show me one interpretation that says Allah, he ordered Jibreel to protect uh, Muhammad, not Allah? Okay. Let's look at a commentary. Which one you want? Let's see. Hmm? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Hmm. Mr. Lucky. <clears throat> okay, then Allah is his protector and his help you against you. Jibreel and mm -hmm. Jibreel will mm -hmm. help him against you. Okay. So you admit it. Allah and Jibreel. <laughs> if Allah is enough, if Allah is enough, then Allah is enough. That's it. Allah and Jibreel and every single believer and furthermore every single angel all of those to fight two women no what do you mean no you just said that everybody heard you, you said Allah and Jibreel everybody heard you no okay what interpretation you are reading so I can put in the screen here then Allah is what interpretation you are reading so I what interpretation what him against you. okay help you okay no problem it's still ordered which means Jibreel show me is where ordered. show me where in your interpretation it says Allah he ordered are you Jibreel. blind you can't read my, my friend okay where show me CP, it says here. Listen, you said to me you are going to read interpretation. What interpretation I, you are reading? So I, I am can reading read Ibn screen. Abbas right now. Ibn Abbas, wonderful. Let us go to Ibn Abbas. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas. I will put in the screen. Let's see here. Hmm. Chapter 66. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And this is Ibn Abbas. Assistance of, assistance of his. See? Okay, right, so read for me. This is or his supporters. This is his, this is Ibn his Abbas. His here refers to Sayyidina Muhammad, so they support Sayyidina Muhammad. Okay, Allah. okay. Who is his protector? It says here they support Sayyidina Muhammad. You said to me. Why are you lying? You ya said to me. You said to me, Ibn Abbas. I am reading right here. The tafsir is in front of you. The tafsir in front of you. The tafsir is in front of you. Why are you lying against Islam? The tafsir is in front of you. Read it. Read it. You think I'm stupid? Coward. It's in front of you. Don't cry. Don't cry. I will give you tissues as much as you want. Read and be a man. This is tafsir Ibn. I'm reading it right here. Read it. Read it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's look. Okay. Let's look at Ibn Jalalain right now. No, no, you said Ibn Abbas. Hold here. on. You said Ibn it Abbas. Also says here we open Ibn, Ibn Abbas. We open which it. does not contradict Ibn Abbas. Oh, hold on. It Ibn, does not no, contradict you Ibn said Abbas. Ibn doesn't. Abbas. Potato. Everybody heard you. You said you want, you are reading Ibn Abbas. This is Ibn Abbas. Yes, I did read Ibn Abbas, liar. but I also and read Ibn no, Jalalain. Read Ibn Abbas. Okay, read Ibn Abbas. We will go to Ibn Jalalain. It doesn't contradict Ibn Abbas. Just get lost. You know, I have no time, time for liars. You know, I smash you in two seconds, son of Muta. You are a ghost. You are a garbage. I'm not going to waste my time screaming. It's in the front of you. Allah is his protector and helper against you. And Jibreel will help him against him. Against you. Do you see it? He said, I'm reading Ibn Abbas. This is Ibn Abbas. And you said, if Jesus is God, then why the Quran says that he was supported by the Holy Spirit? This is your stupid Quran saying that, not my book. You don't take what your book says against me, you idiot. If Jesus is God, why he need to be supported by the Holy Spirit? You say that. Here we go. 
and you lied, you lied, and you said to me, oh, okay, let us go to Ibn Abbas. And you said Ibn Abbas saying, and you are reading it right now, Ibn Abbas saying that Allah will order Jibreel. But this is Ibn Abbas saying, then Allah is his protector and helper against you, and Jibreel will help you against, will help him against you. Help who? If Allah is enough, who needs Jibreel? And not only that, and every single believer, and not only that, let us go to Ajalalain, the one you said you want to read. <laughs> Suppose the Ajalalain will do better. <laughs> <laughs> hey Aisha, repent to God, okay? You have a fight with the Prophet, and the Prophet, he brought the whole universe to fight you. He brought Allah, Jibreel, every single uh, uh, Muslim, and furthermore, all the angels. And the coward, he said to us, if Jesus is God, why he need the support of the Holy Spirit? But this is your Quran saying that. Hmm? God, he is indeed his protector and his supporter. And Jibreel, and the righteous among the believers, if Allah is enough alone. Ah, he is texting me again. Let us take him for a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Ah, this this is Fakira. She's calling. <laughs> I thought it's him again. It turned Fakira. Be careful, Muhammad, and you are dealing with the Christian prince. Your processor is so slow, extremely slow. When you when you plan to talk to me, you prepare to change your computer, which means your brain. Hello? Hello? Uh, oh, this is Fakira again. Fakira, she has many sky, by the way. Fakira is so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Who is talking to me? Ghost. Ew, what the heck is that? Really? You are a ghost? What ghost mean? You don't know what ghost mean. And ghost, and then he said to me, ghost is Jibreel. I said, okay, where is where in the Quran it says it's Jibreel? <laughs> oh, we can show you interpretation. Okay, no problem. Well, why it's in the repetition, not in the Quran? Allah, he forgot. And you know, they start speaking loud and they shout and they go crazy. So in order to make you change the topic, you know, you cannot do that with me. Anything you say here is going to be used against you. Remember, I'm not going to say I'm not like who, but you know, I'm a person you cannot play with. And all of you are so slow, low IQ. Your processor is from the cave time. So how Muhammad, he have a God, yet his God, he need Jibreel and every single believer. And furthermore, all the angels to do what? To protect Muhammad with two, from two women throwing their shoes at him. When you hear this, you think this guy is fighting Putin. He's going in war with America. He, you would think that he is fighting maybe the Persian or maybe the Roman at his time. But this is about two women. They are even his wives. 
I mean, what kind of a potato this man is? Not only, you know, they say to you, Muhammad was a great leader. Well, you see how a great leader he is, two women. He had to fabricate a verse claiming that Allah, he said that to him. This is an embarrassment to anyone who claimed to, hear, to have a God. I have a fight with my wife. And then the God, he sent the message to me to tell my wife that Allah is in my side. Are we playing football now? Is that the theme of Muhammad versus the theme of Aisha? What t-shirt you were wearing, Muhammad, in the TV so we can follow you, Prophet? Muhammad is the captain. Allah is the assistant because, because all of them, they are assisting Muhammad. All of those to assist Muhammad. And Muhammad is so weak. Muhammad is literally potato. He cannot control his wives. And this guy, he called me, he was so excited. Can you imagine how excited he was? I want to prove to you that Jesus is not God. Sound like Ali Dawa. Christian Prince. Do we have any brave Muslim? Anything you say, it will be used against you. This is why, you know, this is why Fakira don't accept any tafsir. Don't accept the, if, you, if Akira is a free thinker. <laughs> That's why she called her first up Akira. <laughs> oh. Do we have any Muslim? We have a Muslim here named here Muhammad Ijaf. Hey Muhammad Ijaf, he's saying to me, What's wrong with you? Hey Muhammad, what's wrong with me? Muhammad. Ajraf, my friend, what's wrong? Can you help me, please? What do you think, based on the symptoms, what do you think is there is wrong with me? Muhammad Ajraf, I like to cancel you. Look like you are expert with the wrong. What's wrong with you? What do you think, Muhammad Ajraf? Ah, uh, you know what? You remind me. You're a prophet when he came from the cave of Hara. He said to his wife Khadija, What's wrong with me? We have it documented. Muhammad himself, he agreed and he admit that there is something wrong with him. They won't show it to you? Huh. Let us go to the hadith. Muhammad, he came back home. And he was shivering and going crazy and he making sound like a camel. And your prophet said to his wife, what's wrong with me? Read with me carefully. And by the way, I never heard of a spirit can squeeze people. <laughs> so Jibreel is an angel in the same time he's a spirit that is fun and the same time he's a squeezer in the same time he come as a man in the same time uh, according to the Quran Allah he says the angel and the spirit the angels and the spirit if the angels are the spirit it will not say the angel and the spirit that would be a mistake so look what happened here when he came to, uh, to his wife, he came back to his wife, Khadija. Uh, uh, okay, and suddenly, it descended upon him, blah, 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 blah. And the angel cut me, and he squeezed him three times, and no mayonnaise is coming out, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, he released me again, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see where is the story. Uh, maybe in different hadith, let's see different hadith, hold on. There's many stories, you know, we have to, because Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same story twice. Let us see here, all right. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, he said to Khadija,
Here we go. You see the translation here says, what happened to me? <laughs> In different translation, it says, what's wrong with me? <laughs> the prophet himself, he do not know what's happening to him. <clears throat> that is something. You don't understand the verse, Allah warning the wives that they cannot win against Muhammad. Guys, I cannot, I don't understand the verse. The verse is so clear. It says Allah is his protectors. Allah is his protector and Jibreel. And why Muhammad need the protection of Allah? If a woman, she have a fight with her husband, what the business of this God? And why we need all those, those they can, I mean, one angel can destroy an army of human beings. How they will help him, what they will do exactly. The verse in the front of you. And if you read the verses before it, you will die laughing. And remember, when the Prophet S.A.W. disclosed a matter of confidence, top secret. And if you read what it is, you will die laughing too. To one of his wife, Hafsa. So when she told the other wife, oh, well, here we go, the gossip start. Allah made it known to him. And he informed him, therefore, and left the port. Look, what the heck? Look, Allah did not tell him everything. Allah, he sent him a fax. He told him some, like, hint. Little information. <laughs> this is God talking? When one of the wives, she told the other wife, and the other wife, she told the other wife, and then the other wife, she told the grandma, and the grandma, she told the cousin, and then the news reached the prophet. And then Allah told him, after all, the whole town, they knew. And now what happened? And look, look at the, look at the genius language in Arabic. This is stupid, unbelievable. And then when he told her, what, what? When he, and then Allah saying, and then when he told her, Hafsa there off, she said, who told you this? Allah is telling us what Allah, what I, what, what, what Hafsa she said to Muhammad. Huh? Allah is telling us. Is that a history? I mean, Muhammad at that time is alive and his wife next to him. And then Allah, he sent the verse saying that. And, and then when he told her, Hafsa, they're off. She said, who told you this? He said, the all knower. It's like Allah now is doing striptease. He is showing us his muscles. Look, look what I did. Look, listen carefully. Look, I, uh, the, the wife Hafsa, she said to him, who told you this? Man, how you know that, huh? I mean, how you know the whole that the whole town in you? When one woman she tell the other woman, that said the secret is over. Just imagine it. And then who who and, and Allah is telling us what happened between Muhammad and his wife now after even he warned him. Who told you this? And the funny is, they say to us, who can make Quran? The whole verse is, is he, she said, he said, she said. What is Allah talking? Where and when Allah is talking? All the, all what we see, he said, she said, who, you know, he told her, she told him, she, you know, she said to she, and then she told he, and he, she told she, and then she told him, who told you this? And then they say to us, who can make Quran? The God of Gosib. And then to fix it, even make it more horrible. And now Allah will give him protection. Okay, how? There's nothing. He made a threat. He says, 
Uh, maybe Allah, he if he divorce you, what, 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 what may be? It may be if he divorce you all. Allah saying, Allah saying, if it may be he divorce you all, and then we go, we check, we find that this is verse made by Umar. Umar, he said, my Lord agreed with me in three. Some they say seven, some they say ten, different stories. One of them is this story. Muhammad, he took it as it is, and he put it in the Quran exactly as Umar said. This is Umar's statement. If we go here, Read carefully. My Lord agreed with me. Have you ever heard of a Lord agree with the guy? He is just nobody. He is not even the prophet. He did not agree with Muhammad. He agreed with Umar. And you will see Umar said that verse number 65 and all the verses came exactly the same as I had said. Do you see it? Let me zoom in. And thankful for the Muslim, they put for us exactly chapter 66, verse number 5. This is exactly what Omar said. So you call me with your demonic spirit, shouting and screaming and jumping like a monkey, that cannot intimidate me, Abdul. I am not the one you can intimidate. Your Satan doesn't work with me. Your Satan is doing poo poo in his pant when he speaks to me. Your Satan, when he saw Jesus, he threw himself in the ocean, in the sea. Who is a Mohammedan? He have the courage and the knowledge to stand for a Christian prince. And let me warn you, you want to play games? I respect people who speak like men and they keep their words. You say, I'm going to read the tafsir of etc. Let us read it. We don't go and re start reading and then you jump, you don't want to read it no more. I don't have time for kids. Where is our friend uh, Michael, the one who asked me to speak in a respectful way? Do you see what we are dealing with, Mr. Michael, my friend? Do you see what we are dealing with? People who have Satan in their heart. Satanic, demonic people. You are welcome, Michael. Even though I find comment from Christians like this is annoying. You know, it's like somebody go to the kitchen and he tell you what to do. You know, my friend, uh, I need to raise my voice because, you know, the Muslim, he raises his voice more so people can hear him, not to hear me. You know, Michael, don't force me to block you, please. I have tens of thousands of Muslims left Islam and you are teaching me how to talk to Muslims. Isn't it, this is embarrassing, Michael? Do you know how many thousands left Islam by me doing what I'm doing here every day? And you, I'm sure you never spoke to any one of them. You are teaching me how to talk to them. How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm used for those people, by the way. Mostly Christians who come here, especially in the beginning, they are the most annoying because they have wrong understanding of the Bible. They think that Jesus never shout. Here we go, he's telling me, don't raise your voice. What's wrong with my voice? You don't like it? I, I scream always. <clears throat> every, every time we go live on air, almost every time we have somebody leave Islam and you are telling me how to speak to them. Go, give them hugs. Hello, Muhammad. How are you? Yeah, Muhammad, you like to lie? Okay, go ahead. The microphone is yours. 
Okay, I'm not going to shout. Actually, I'm not going to talk at all. This is what the Christians do. Christians, when the Muslim call them, they give him the microphone. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And the guy is lying and lying and lying. And now the Christian, he tried to answer, but it's too late. Because he, if he answered, he answered one thing he said out of 30 lies he mentioned already. We don't allow that. One by one. You say one lie, we got you busted. We finish it, we go to the second lie. And you notice what happened. He just said the word ghost. He thought he can just escape and go. This is a Christian prince. Whatever you say, I will use it. He said nothing. I asked him, who are you? He said, I'm a ghost. Why do you think about the book of Enoch? Well, there is a fake book of Enoch, and there is a book of Enoch. Uh, the one mentioned in the Bible is uh, real, and there is a fake one. You can download a PDF file, which is fake, false, full of false stories. And why I want to care even for the, the, the book of Enoch? You see, even when Jesus or even the disciples, they mention things from the Old Testament or previously, because those are Jews. Those are Jews. They have their background. And because of their background, you speak to them of their background. If I'm going to speak to the Greek people, I'm not going to speak of the book of Enoch. They will say, who is Enoch? Who is that? Those are pagan. For me, what is important is Jesus. Is not Enoch. It's not even Paul, it's not even Peter, it's not even the disciples, it's not even all the kings who came before Jesus and all the prophets, not even Moses, not even David, not even Salem, not even Abraham. For all those names, they came to prepare for Jesus, not the opposite. And we have Jesus. So those names are important before Jesus. But after Jesus, there's nobody is important. It's like, you know, you have a, you have one white light, and then you have two white light. And then one day, you have a light more powerful than the sun. Who dare to go and look for the storage, looking for a candle can make one light, one white light? Who of you now prefer to switch his lamp to a candle unless you want to be romantic do we have any Muhammadan? any Muhammadan would like to join us may they, may they, may they How come American still accept the stupidity? What, what does have to do with American or not American? When you are ignorant, you accept anything. Anyone can fool you. And you yourself, if I'm not here, and maybe a few others, sharing you with you the knowledge, you will, they will, you know, you will be fooled too. Do you know how much Muslims they spend money to make professional videos? interviews, TV stations, they have countries sponsoring Islam, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Bahrain. We Christian, we have nobody to sponsor us. And actually, even like, even when you go to Patreon, you will see most of you putting one dollar, which may nobody even collect, because Patreon will not collect one dollar. This is the truth. They have countries spending billions, if not trillions of dollars to sponsor Islam. You have Iran, you have Pakistan, you have, I mean, all of them. And on top of that, you have your own politician who they are not Muslim sponsoring Islam too, because they are hypocrite. So they have, Islam now have the biggest budget for religion in the world. The biggest ever. More than 10% to 15% from the state of Emirat. Qatar spent at least 20%. Saudi Arabia, nobody can imagine even how much. 
Who is the one who sponsored the Christians? Nobody. You pay for your electricity, for your church electricity, for your church water, for your church property insurance. You pay for everything. Those people don't even pay for their mosque. al Qazafi alone, he built more than a thousand mosques in USA. This is the truth. However, even with all their money, we got them busted in just a little funny, you know, silly YouTube. I don't have a TV station. I don't have an organization. Uh, Zachary Naik, he says he have more than 500 employees. I saw his video last night. He said he have more than 500 employees. Employees, which means 500 people, they get paid. By, by who? Where the money coming from? How many employees I have? Yet we are victorious and they are losers. For a very simple reason. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? They fear us. We don't fear them. Mr. Fizzy Liz, CP or a liar. My friend, why I will lie to you? Are you my wife? According to the Prophet of Allah Muhammad, I can lie to you if you are my wife. Are you my wife? You call yourself mister. So it is impossible. Have you ever heard of a somebody he says to somebody, you are a liar when he follow a prophet, he order him to lie. I thought lying is a blessing in Islam. Can you call me and show me that lying is bad in Islam? Can you? Islamic marriage is the best certificate for lies. The wife, she is allowed to lie to her husband. You've been, where you been late? I was uh, visiting my cousin. Oh, okay. But she was not with the cousin. And now she don't feel guilty because Allah told her she can't lie to her husband. There's a woman, she sent a, an, a request uh, to an Islamic website to answer a question. She found that her Jordanian Muslim husband, he go to Jordan claiming that he is going to visit his parents. But then later, after a few years, she found that he have a new wife and now he have kids from her. And she says, how in the world he is allowed to lie to me? He claimed to be religious. The Mufti, he answered, said, first of all, you have no right to ask him if he married from second wife or not. Secondly, Yes, he can lie to you. This is Islam. I never called you. Give me your Skype to call you. Where is your Skype? Do we have any Muhammadan? Scientific miracle of the Quran, brother. The Quran, brother, is full of scientific miracle. Nine scientific miracles will surprise you. That's deep. Nine surprise miracle. Brother, this is the website. Rational religion dot q uk islam is a rational religion yeah it's rational everything is rational so 10 scientific miracles in the quran will surprise you okay wait wait, 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 wait hold on where we jump uh the big bang the quran teach the big bang who is a muslim agree Who is a Mohammedan agree that the Quran teach the Big Bang, brother? Huh? I like the Big Bang. I have a Big Bang here every day. Big and bang. The Muslim, he called me big. He lived like a... He's so excited. I'm here to get you busted, CP. 
Let us talk if Jesus is God or not. Big Bang in the Quran. Let us see the Big Bang. Mean. Look, cosmology. That's deep. 100 years ago, the world best scientific minds thought that the universe had always exist. Since it's always exist, it did not need a creator. Man, and then Einstein challenged, changed all. Uh, but they forgot that Einstein is not a Muslim too. And he is a, Einstein was a Christian or a Jew? Somebody help me, I forgot. He filed a question, suggested, I mean, you can read the rest, okay? But let's go with what it says in the Quran. And then he says, what few people know, however, that the Holy Quran described the Big Bang perfectly 1400 years ago. How? Oh, where in the Quran? Are you sure? Yes, brother, it's in the Quran. It's in front of you in Arabic. أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَوَاتَ وَالْأَرْضَ كَانَتَ رِتْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا Don't you see? Don't you see? And now look, they pause for us, the translation. Don't the disbelievers see, you stupid idiot, you donkey. How you are saying to me that this is a discovery and nobody knows, and this is something happened long, billions of years ago, and then the verse says, don't the disbelievers see? See, we see the Big Bang. and the time of Muhammad, people, they see the Big Bang. So this is the first stupid bubble, poo-poo, in, the, in, the, in this uh, false scientific miracle. It says, don't the disbelievers, that, who is the one who see the disbelievers of Mecca? What they do, they see it. How they see it at that time. And then, that the heaven and the earth were closed up. And look at the translation. Close up mass. This is what it says? Close up mass? I mean, do you see, do you see, do you see how they lie? You go to the front translation, you will see it says that the earth, there is no close up and there is no mass. It was earth and heaven. And they were stitches. They were stitched together and we separate them. But this is what the, not the Big Bang saying. The Big Bang doesn't say there was heaven and earth. The Quran says there was heaven and earth, and we separated them. And then even in their stupid translation says, then we open them up or out. Open them who? The Big Bang says there was earth. I mean, do you see how silly, how stupid? It takes you two seconds to notice that this is just a joke. Do we have any Muhammadan? Want to make a comment? Andrew Martin, you witness what CP did to the caller a few minutes ago that I never called CP. Uh, me, Mr. Free, what I did, the guy, he, he said he will read for me, Ibn Abbas, and then he refused to read. Then he said, uh, he is reading Ibn Abbas, and he said, it says here, that Ibn Abbas saying that Allah, he ordered Jibreel to protect Muhammad. I said to him, read it, he refused. Me, did you see what CP he said? Did you see what he did? So you want me to let him go and change the topic and escape the humiliation which he did to himself. Do you see what this Christian Prince did to the second caller? Do you see? Christian Prince, first of all, the person he called you and he said to you, I am the ghost. And then you said to him, okay, what ghost mean? First of all, nobody I can answer the question. Secondly, you are trying to run away from the topic. And he said to you, Ibn Abbas, first of all, Ibn Abbas, he is reading it different from Ibn Abbas. What do you mean, second? Like, what do you mean it's different? 
exactly it's different have an example if the abbas in pakistan is six foot tall if the abbas in arabia he was five foot tall so how they are the same hey, what, hold on what if the abbas in pakistan and abbas in Arabia? if the abbas is the cousin of the prophet get the prince First of all, the Prophet has many cousins, and he has many Ibn Abbas. And as an example, me myself, I am Ibn Abbas. Is that Karnaik? You are Ibn Abbas now? Exactly. And actually, I was Ibn Abbas and then became the Karnaik. What the heck? You used to be Ibn Abbas and then you become the Karnaik? How that happened? It's very simple. I was driving the, the, the van. And then when I went to Pakistan, I went into the mountain. And then the mountain flipped on us and we have an accident. And then I woke up, I found my name, Ibn Abbas. What the heck? You have an accident. You found yourself in the Abbas. And then how you came back to be Zakir Naik? It's very simple. When I saw my wife, I remember myself and I became Zakir Naik again. And this Muslim is complaining, supposedly. Like, did you see what he did to the second caller? What I did, I got him busted. He said he will read Ibn Abbas. What about you call me and you read Ibn Abbas? Why he refused? Because he's a potato. And he was lying. He was not reading Ibn Abbas. He added the word says, and Allah, he ordered Jibreel to protect Muhammad. I said, where are you reading from? He said, Ibn Abbas. <laughs> Who is next? Oh boy. <laughs> this is the, the only one, the only one is the texting us is Fakira. Fakira, she is so excited. Somebody go into Senegal and find solution with Fakira. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim? Fakira. Yeah, it's her. How are you, Fakira? How are you, Fakira? <laughs> Do we have any real Muhammadan? He have the courage to be a man and to say and to keep what he is saying, to stand for what he say. Hmm? Anyone? Everything you say is a lie. The Big Bang doesn't say there was an Earth and then so and the Earth and the heaven they are separated. And secondly, are we separated from the Earth from the heaven? You idiot! Are we? Isn't it the Earth is just a little dot inside, not even a dust inside the universe? How we are separated? Any Muslim can tell us? Are we separated from the heaven? Or we are inside the space? Oh. Uh. Uh, Miss Al uh, Al Afifa, she is saying she bought the new, yeah, the, the new version, uh, there's many complain about it, there is some errors and mistakes. You know, as you know, this is a translation, and translation these days is done by individuals, nothing like, you know, no authority. I mean, I can make a translation too. Uh, so yeah, this is a new uh, NIV uh, uh, translation, have a horrible errors and mistakes and they supposedly they are trying to correct it but it's still there is many of them there uh, so uh, yeah King James version is better uh, but the problem with King James version for some people like me who don't speak good English the English is very heavy you know so I don't know how good your English is and remember this is all translation Do we have any Muhammadan?
There is a good translation, which is the Aramaic Bashita uh, translation. The Aramaic. Because it's very close to the Aramaic. It's taken from the Aramaic directly, not translation from translation. So this is like Bashita, Holy Bible translating translation. This is Aramaic to English. Uh, did Allah create anything in the Quran by saying kun fayakun? No. When we got the Muslim many times by this. The Muslim they say that Allah, he said, uh, like in the case of uh, uh, Adam and Isa, which we do not know who is this Isa, but they claim that this is Jesus. He said that Adam and Isa, both of them, they are created by same being and they, they were. There was, you know, but the fact, the same book, the Quran, says the opposite, says, no, Allah, he made Adam, first of all, he he made them, uh, he makes a clay with water. That's how you make a clay. I mean, a, a dust with water or dirt. You made the clay and then you fashioned the clay and then he left the clay for 40 years to dry out. Even Shaitan, he went inside Adam when he was empty before he was finished. And he told the angels, don't worry about him. This guy is empty, not like your God, which is very funny. Allah is full. Did Shaitan go inside Allah? <laughs> and then, uh, and then Allah, he breathed into Adam. So how the verse here says that the likeness of Jesus is the same as Adam, both are made from dust. If you remember two days ago, we have a Muslim. You guys remember? Still, we have it still in the the Muslim guy. He said to me, uh, he he is the one who said to me. If you remember, at the end of the uh, uh, conversation with him, after two hours of lying, I said to him, "Is Jesus and Adam are the same?" He said, "No, because Adam is born of a womb. Adam is a created from from dirt." I said, "Wonderful." <laughs> when I showed him this verse. Suddenly, he did not say that. Go watch it. Aziz Ali saying, how one plus one is equal to one? That's a good question, Aziz. But Aziz, I have a question for you. Who is the donkey? He told you that there is Christian belief in one plus one plus one. What, what do you mean one plus one plus one? Do you, have you ever heard that Christian says we believe something called one plus one plus one? And you know, the funny is that Muslim, they speak about numbers. Do you guys remember what we said yesterday? Yesterday, when we made the video about Gog and Magog, and we showed a Muslim that how idiot Muhammad with the numbers. Do you know what a Muslim he said in the comment? He said, we don't care if a prophet Muhammad, his numbers are wrong. Read with me. This is your prophet, Mr. One plus one plus one. I want you to use your skills in mathematics to solve the problem. Okay? Please don't leave. We need, we need your skills. Your prophet said that Allah will tell Adam in the day of judgment. He will speak to him. He will order him. And Adam will say to him, I'm, I'm, I'm between your hands. What do you want, Allah? Allah will say, bring out of the people of fire. He said, Adam will say, oh Allah, how many people of the fire? Allah will reply, says, from 1,000, take out 9,999. Are you good in numbers? Write down. The first number is, out of 1,999, that means there's only one left. And then he continue, at the time the children will become uh, hoary and headed uh, uh, the women she will miscourage etc and then he continues saying and then the Muslim they get scared they said oh, okay Allah Apostle uh, who is the one the one left I mean 99 will go to 999 will go to hell there's only one left he said rejoice rejoice with a glad tiding one person from you and the 1,000 will be from Gog and Magog. Look, what the heck? He just said that Allah told Adam, take from your offspring 
999 and only one will be saved and now Muhammad trying to fix it so he said 1000 there will be from Gog and Magog and one of you are you good in numbers what is the total now 1000 and one how we will take 1001 out of 1000 are you there mr mathematics i need explanation i am joking ah aziz ali he need explanation ah. call me i will explain to you no problem go ahead Because first of all, you need to explain to me yourself, who is the one who told you that we believe in one plus one plus one? What one plus one plus one? We don't believe in such a thing. We believe that God is one, and he is a three persons in the same time. There's no one plus one plus one. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. How God can be one and three in the same time? Well, how God can be God then? He is called God. For he is God, he's almighty. Al almighty, you don't question the almighty how he can do things. Those things are impossible for you. However, even you as a human, you have a flesh, you have a soul, and you have a mind. You without your mind, you are dead. You without your soul, you are dead. You without your flesh, you are not exist. How you can be three and one at the same time? Can you answer it? If somebody have a brain heart attack, he's dead. If somebody, his soul left him, he's dead. If your flesh left you, you the soul and, and the, the, you are not a person no more. But isn't it, this is what you believe? When Allah, he made Adam from a clay, according to the Quran, and this is a story Muhammad is telling from the Bible. And then Allah, he breathed into Adam. He breathed what? Anyone can tell us? Who is the Muslim can help us? When Allah, he breathed into Adam, he breathed what? Oxygen? What he breathed? Anyone? I challenge you Muslims to tell me what Allah he breathed. You see the Muslims, they lie in the translation. They say it says here, and when I have fashioned him completely and breathed into, into him the soul, where it says I breathe into him the soul, Who is a Muslim can show me the word that Allah he breathed into him, the soul. What the Arabic saying, وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي From my soul. That's mean Allah have a soul. And this is the Arabic in front of you. فَإِذْ سَوَّيْتَهُ وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي when I fashioned him, complete fashioned the statues of Adam as a clay, and then I breathed into him. What I breathed into him, from my soul, not the soul. This is a false translation. You change the translator. This is Hilali and Khan. Let us go to a different idiot, Yusuf Ali. When I have fashioned him in the proportion and breathe into him of my spirit. You see how translation changed? The previous translation saying, I breathe into him his soul. Here, breathe to him of 
my soul. Muslims, do Allah have a soul? Who is a Muhammad and would like to help us? Any Muhammad? Who is an excited Muslim? He want to get reward from Allah and he want to call me like the previous one. I just warn you, you know, I have a limited patience for too much line. I mean, if you don't, if you mention to me something and you decide to read it, you have to read it. I will not let you go without it. You have to read it. If you say to me, let us read Ibn Kathir, then we have to read Ibn Kathir. Do we have any Muslim here can tell us what is the spirit of Allah or the soul of Allah? Anyone? According to Muslims, Allah, he have no spirit. So what, what he is saying here? He breathed into him. This is what happened when you have a false prophet, he still believes from other beliefs. So he heard in the Bible, it says that God, he breathed. Muhammad, he took it. But the God of the Bible is a spirit. But the God of Islam is not a spirit. So when the God of Islam says, I breathe into him, breathe is something come from outside, either in or out, actually. The breathe is like to move usually, like you, know, you inhale or exhale. So a breathe into him, in this case here, his exhale, it's something from inside him. So what is inside Allah? Based on the verse is a spirit. Why there is a spirit inside Allah if he has no spirit and he is not a spirit? Any Muhammadan? Any Muslim, he is proud to be a Muslim. Let us see, maybe. <clears throat> this person, he said he's an ex-Muslim. We will see. If you are a Muslim, you like to join us, please feel free. Just text me in Skype and I will call you. All right. Let us see. We have Abdul. Uh, you don't understand the verse and he called me. Okay. Maybe this is the same guy, you know, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Ghost. <clears throat> Let us hope. Yeah, this is Fakira actually. This is not uh... hey, Fakira. Why you call me? <laughs> and right away, right away, immediately you speak filthy. <laughs> and the funny is, I call him Fakira. He say yes, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep, keep doing that, you know. We, you, you give us like we give us some comedy, you know. We like it. Do we have any real brave Muhammadan? He is not ashamed of his prophet. He will not say the F word to his prophet like this, Fakira. Allah was breathing what? 
We can switch to the Quran miracle if you want. I mean, we are very flexible. Who is here for the first time? If you are here for the first time, let us know. Just to see how many new people come in. <laughs> 